Fiddler's Bob back here. If you didn't watch the Foggy Flight, uh, you might, because if you're interested in the tuning video, it's related to the tuning video, as I said in my commentary on that. Uh, we started out flying in the fog, became sunny and warm, had to retune the motor, decided to do a tuning video. So this video will be the tuning video uh, with Tim Jones uh, tuning the motor and talking about how to tune, what to look for, setting the high, setting the mid, all that kind of stuff. Again, if you're watching this video and you didn't see the first one with the foggy flight, um, you don't have to go see it to understand the tuning, but uh, it's definitely interesting. So uh, either way, uh, here is the tuning video. So Tim, what are we doing today? A little uh, tuning 101. Okay, so this morning I shot you your flying that thing in the fog and it was kind of moist and... Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we're going to retune now because the weather's changed, right? That's right. Cool. So I'm going to take you through kind of like a... Just a general guideline of tuning as far as I would say the best average overall way of doing it. I'm going to show you how we do that and then I'm going to go into my own personal tuning procedure for my own flying style. Cool. All right. So what, what we're going to do here, we got to get the high needle set first. Um, that needle is going to control overall fuel flow to the engine. So in order to do so, I got to do a climb out and do it for about 200 feet to get it saturated on the high needle. So and what are, what are we looking for on the climb out? We're looking, initially, we always want to tune rich to lean. So we want it to be rich. So we'll see what it does. See how it's just really smoky? Yeah, real really smoky. See that yeah. to be? Dense smoke. Very dense smoke. Okay, now they're always going to be like that when they're cold, so I do a couple climb outs, get some heat in the motor, go back and forth. Warm it up. And you can see right there, that's about all she's got heat wise, and it's just rich. It's just really rich. So we're going to come down here, and um, I usually always tune about three clicks at a time. You know, really? Three at a time? Three at a time. You know, the thing is, you got to find where you are. You so, find, well, we, we know we're rich now. now so, you know, you're super we, rich, so three clicks, but. You do, if you don't speaking, know what you're doing, then maybe one click at a time. No, just... I don't suggest that because you're never going to find where you're at. See, the problem is then you kind of get the placebo effect. You think it did something. You don't really know. You really need to make a change. And if it goes lean, listen for the leanness. And when it is there, just back off the throttle, go to neutral collective. You're not going to hurt your motor whatsoever. Um, if you continue to fly like that, you will. Sure, sure. But, so I mean, so one, find... one pump up isn't going to burn up your motor, no, but no. unless you're like, no smoke and it's unless you're no smoke yeah. and you just stay on the sticks then yeah your motor is going to suffer all right, cool. but, uh, so now we're going to put three clicks in it we got to find lean right now you saw super rich we got to find lean all right all right so again we're doing the high needle so you leaned it up leaned it up three clicks now we're going to do another climb out here and we're going to see if uh see if the motor's cleaned up It looks pretty smoky. It's still, it's still smoky. It's, it's much better, but it's still smoky. So we'll come back. We're gonna do a couple more. All right. So how many more clicks you go? I just went in two more. So, and in order to really see the high end, we need to eliminate the mid-range mixture, meaning that we need to stay full throttle for quite a, quite a bit of time. What, blow the motor out, right? Yeah, you gotta clean the motor out and get on just that needle. Looking better. That's but about right there. I can tell you from experience that we're close. I would stop personally right now because I know where the motor is and I've flown it a lot. But I'm just gonna show you, you know, if you're, if you're somewhat new at this or this is just kind of a new procedure to you, this is what I would do. We go in a couple more, find lean. Okay, so we're gonna do that. All right couple more so another thing just like from this morning just because you're tuned right now and today doesn't mean that you just leave the needles there all the time especially if you're trying for performance you may well, have to adjust when, you, when, from... you're, when you're tuning for the fine edge once we go through this process when we get the needles synced so to speak I'll, I'll, we're gonna get into that here in a minute um, you can typically go to any field as long as you're reasonable elevation change you know three four hundred feet or less um, you can get away with one click or the other it may be on the needle um, you know, you always got to remember when it's cold outside, you got to run richer. When it's hot outside, you got to lean it up. Yep. And uh, the lower or the better air density you have, the better the motor is going to run, the richer it's going to run. Sure, you got more air you in the fuel better, mix. You got more air, so yep. you need more fuel. So here we go. 
This should be right on the edge of lean on the high end. Okay, so I'll maybe find out. I can hear it getting a little raspy. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but yeah. I can hear it detonating a little bit. Yeah, a little picking bit, it up. A little bit of pinging. Still producing some good smoke, though. Yeah, but again, smoke... Smoke is a good guideline. It gets you roughly in the ballpark, but what it comes down to is your ear. Your ear is your best friend. So anyway, I know this motor's a little bit too lean on the high end now, so I'm going to go rich it back up. But so the point of this is, just because you're getting smoke doesn't mean it's tuned right. That's right. Um, <laughs> all right, so the idea here is we want consistent smoke when the motor's loaded and when the motor's unloaded. So what we're going to do now, now that we know the high end, the needle that controls overall fuel flow to the whole entire carburetor, um, we now know that that's close, so now we get to tune the transition, which is the middle needle. Okay. And to do that, I got a couple different methods I've developed for my own stuff, um, you know, but here for just generally speaking, I'm going to show you what we do there. Yeah, for guys that can't do wild maneuvers, you know. Okay. Well, then here we're going to go. This is basic. This is, you know, most anyone can do this. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to climb out, get it on the high needle, then I'm just going to go neutral collective. So zero and pitch. The, and watch the smoke. Unload the head. Yeah, really smoke there in the middle. Right, let me get let me get it closer to the camera here. We'll do the same thing. We'll go up and then go neutral. You see how it just puffed out smoke yep, out of it? Yeah, it's kicking out a lot. It, it, it'll, it'll, it's nice and thin right there, and then I let go, and you see it right there. Yep, big puff. yep, okay. yep. Now we're too rich. So the, so the idea there is you wanted to unload the head so you're in the middle needle, so you're basically at zero pitch, no load. Uh -huh. Kelly's kind of dropping, you see that big puff, right? Right, exactly. Cool. So now you're going to go lean up the mid? Yes. Um, and it's an experience thing too, but I know the thing's quite rich right now, so I just went four clicks on the mid range. Okay. So. Getting better, yeah. A lot less smoke. It wasn't surrounded by a cloud like before. It's still puffing a little bit. Yeah, now. yep. Still is. So, we know where this is. Now we we got to do the same thing again with the mid range we did with the high. We got to start rich, find lean, and then back off a little bit. Okay. And that's going to be where your sweet spot is. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, and the high's a little leaner now, too. See, now the reason now you're, you're wondering, but I already tuned the high. Why is it that why is it that it's tackling now when I'm on the full needle? Well, the reason is is because initially the mid range was uh, so so rich that uh, that it was screwing with the high. Well, what it is, the motor's full of fuel, so you don't give it enough time, like. Another instance of tuning a high needle would be like a big hurricane, do several revolutions at full throttle. You got to clean the motor out to do the high end. But, you know, right now what we're showing is the motor is overall lean, but the needles are fairly in sync. Now I can get away with just opening the high up a little bit more, which is going to feed the middle pretty well too. And we're going to be close to a baseline tuning. All right, so, um, so I understand what was happening was the mid was so rich mm -hmm. that even though you tuned the high, when you'd come back in that mid-range, the motor would fill up with fuel, yes. so it was making you believe that the high was tuned when, in fact, now that you're when getting the mid-tuned, the high is getting out of sync. That's exactly right. The two needles are just what we, what I like to call out of sync. You know, they're out yeah, of phase. Yeah, out of phase, yeah. So now we're going to go back and we're going to richen the high up, high back up. And that's, you know, this is going to be this basic tuning. Um, I'm going to show you here a little bit the way I do my personal tuning procedure. Your fine, do, fine like, tuning. Yeah, free when you're looking for that very edge of power. But that, that, that process we just showed there um, should get you in the ballpark. You know, it's going to get you to where you have a, a pretty happy running motor and you, you're not going to risk blowing it up. You know? Sure. So, anyway. Cool. All right. So now what we've done, I left the mid-range alone and we've, we've richened the high needle, which is going to, you know, give more fuel to the motor all throughout. So do you need to pump it a few times to make sure it's cleaned out for final uh, check in the high, you know? Well, let's try this again. It sounds good again. We'll unload it. It doesn't really go too puffy rich. Yeah. If you really want to do the high, this is how you do the high. You got to do a hurricane. This is my most comfortable orientation. This is the one I generally, generally do. You want the collective stick to be full bore right now. 
On the high needle, full, full power. Stick. Yep. Get, get around here. There's several revolutions. And I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, but you can hear this motor right now. It's singing along pretty good. And it's not loading up. As heat gets drawn in, like for instance, this thing's totally on the high needle right now. The yep. mid-range is doing nothing. This is high needle. So now that we've got that, now we can come back in. The motor's warm. Now we quickly go into climb out, let it sit. And you see how it, it doesn't really... Doesn't I mean, there's a little puff because it's sitting in its own smoke, so don't yeah, let that, that fool you. Yeah, but that, that's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Again, this is just basic stuff, but... Uh, because you, you can see it's kind of consistent on the smoke. Right. Now we're almost out of fuel, so we're about done tuning here because we're so rich, it's not getting much flight time at all. But um, I tune the high basically in a hurricane, but I'll do the mid-range on something like this. And what are you looking for there? What I'm looking for there, you can see it kind of went it went lean on me. With with guys who have aggressive styles and guys who never really give the motor a break while you're flying, generally speaking, you got to run a richer mid-range because you're calling for more fuel. Yeah. Um, you know, power. So so fuel. after doing that, you would have richened the mid a little bit then, huh? After yeah. doing that, you would have richened the it, mid it, a little it, bit? It's, it's lean right now in the mid-range, but how about we fill it up with fuel and I'll show you what I do personally. Okay, cool. All right.